Hi, and welcome back. So I um, had a request from one student in the class to, uh, to make a video to talk a little bit about metrics. Um, I know that uh, assignment number two is coming up and you know I probably could have done this video a little bit sooner and I apologize for not getting out sooner. Um, but I really want to talk about this because <clears throat> one of the things that we always we focus on, uh, particularly in large organizations, is how we're going to measure things. Okay. So there's, there's ways that you can measure things where you are, um, you know, there's quantifiably and then there's qualifiably, okay? So qualifiably, the second one, um, is basically where we kind of just take a, a measure, you know, it's, it's more or less based on feeling, um, the, you know, um, I, I always kind of say that, uh, you know, if, if you think about it, quantifiable metrics, which is the measurement of using numbers, sort of like the skeleton of something, whereas the, the, quanti the qualifiable um, measurements are usually sort of that, that filler. Because one of the biggest problems we have in organizations as of today is that there's this huge push to really put um, numbers on things. And that's all well and good, but it's not the whole complete picture. And it's, it's definitely not, um, uh, it's not the only way in order to figure out what's going on. Obviously, um, it's easier than doing qualifiable measurements, but, um, you know, and it's definitely e easier to understand, um, you know, because, you know, most, most people who are running organizations are numbers people. Um, whether you work in accounting, whether you work in HR or whatever, you're, you're going to have to understand how those numbers are and how they interact with each other. Um, so th there's, a, there's a few, and one of the things, you know, I love the SHRM website. If you're not using the SHRM website to do some of your um, extracurricular searching um, or, you know, for this class um, or, or even more so for your job, um, I just think you're missing out on some great opportunities to learn some things. And so if you go to SHRM and you look at their website, they've got great articles to talk about a lot of stuff. And they, they have, you know, one of the things that I, that I really love about the, the website is that it tends to take the most complicated and puts it in English, um, which is something that, uh, you know, it's, 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 you know, for somebody who works in my industry, I definitely find that to be extremely valuable. Um, but the way that they take, you know, this term article was talking about what, is, what are metrics. Metrics essentially give us the way of quantifying the health of our organization. And to that end, metrics are now different is, is what this, um, this person was being quoted as uh, in the article. Um, in the article I was reading, if you go on the Sherm website, it says nine tips for using HR metrics strategically. I know that's not an APA certified citation, and don't cite that as an excuse for not doing citations in your paper. Um, but th the fact is, is that uh, you know, metrics really, um, like I said, they, they, they kind of help us tell that story. And traditionally, HR people weren't very good at it in the beginning. I mean, not 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 to put them down, or or um, not not to put put HR the profession down, but we just weren't very good at it. And over time, um, numbers really kind of became the thing, especially in the you know in the '90s and the, and then later on in the 2000s. I mean, it was numbers, 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 and and now it's kind of gotten to the point where people are starting to say, well, you know, the numbers only tell half the story, and that's true. Okay. So when you're taking a look at metrics, um, it's really how are you measuring it, okay? And you can use metrics of all types. Um, turnover ratio is a very common one. Um, what's my employee turnover ratio? If I have a high employee turnover ratio, there may be, it may be systematic of a problem that's happening in the organization. It's potentially possible. Um, maybe my comp and benefits is not matching that of the rest of the industry. Um, it could also mean you know, if you're seeing an extremely high turnover ratio in one department, it may not be so much to be with the comp benefits, but it might be the management of that group. Um, and it just needs to be examined. Now, there's some certain industries that are experiencing, that experience high turnover, and there's just nothing you can do about it. Restaurant work's a very good example. People will change jobs like they change shirts. Um, you know, particularly in, in areas where um, talent is readily replaceable, uh, therefore, it may not be compensated as well or may not be compensated using, um, gosh, what do I want to say? Uh, shall we say creative measures? You know, so, and you guys are learning some of that when you're, when you're doing some of the organizational analysis of some of your 
the, the comp analysis of some of your organizations, you're finding out that some places are a little more creative, i.e. Google, Facebook, and all that sort of stuff. But remember, Silicon Valley is so competitive that there's, you don't have, they don't have a choice. They have, to, they have to be creative in a lot of things they do. What I find fascinating is that the accounting industry is just as competitive, but for some reason, uh, creativity hasn't really hit our industry very much, unfortunately. Um, I hope to bring some of that to that, but, but we'll see. Um, so that's kind of what metrics are in a nutshell, is that it's really just that measuring of how we do it and um, you know the different types of, of numbers that we create in order to, to, you know, to, to do that. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment box. If, if this video is not deep enough, I can make another one that'll go even deeper. I just wanted to hit deep, you know, a shallow dive in about six minutes, and, and, and I'm getting close to the end of that. So thank you very much. I appreciate it, and uh, looking forward to the next video.